Actually, I'm going to talk to you about something that um, is a little bit different. We don't see it too often, the use of the fibula rod uh, for complicated fractures of the fibula. Actually, I would say complicated patients. Uh, the rods come in six different size options. Um, they're uh, 3.0 and 3.6 millimeter diameter. And uh, there's 110, 145, and 180 millimeter rods. And they're all very simply color coded uh, right and left rods. So you have, they, they go on the right or the left side depending on um, what side you're working on. But the point is, is that they're, they're actually uh, many different sizes for your needs. So here's how it works. So you take, uh, you're going to make your skin incision 1.5 centimeters. This is the medial mal incision, by the way. I'm going to just, that, this isn't for that purpose. But we did do uh, two screw fixation on the medial mal. Open that up and percutaneously fix that. Now on the lateral side, you're going to make a 1.5 centimeter incision. Now your key is to get that K wire or that guide wire up the, up the fibular canal. And so this is the hardest part. If, if I wanted to tell you that if there was anything difficult about this, this would be the most difficult because you're going to get that aligned. It is what takes the most time. So if you can canal it first time, you're really done. This is 20 minutes, 30 minutes in surgery. And here's a really good example of it looking pretty good coming on the anterior posterior view. But look at the back of the ankle. You know, the wire was sticking out. So we had to now readjust re that wire so that it went straight up the fibular canal as well as not only in the anterior view but the lateral view and I show this because this is a common mistake intraoperatively that you do not want to have happen.